guys, it's Ty here, and today I will be telling you 10 things I do when. So the 10 things I do when I'm angry. So stay tuned for this video. Okay, the top thing that I do when I'm angry is I will ignore you. I will ignore the crap out of you. I give this silent treatment. You'll ask me questions, you'll make jokes. I'll sit there like this. And I will slap, put on some music. If I'm angry at you or I just don't feel like being talked to, that's what you'll get. The second thing I will do when I'm angry is lay down and go to sleep, to be honest. If I'm home and someone makes me angry, I'll just go to sleep. Because my logic is I will do all these things I name on the top 10 list to avoid saying something. Because if I say something, I'm going to be looked at like, oh. Like, why are you being such a bitch? Why are you doing all this and cussing me out? And I don't want to do that. I know I spare people's feelings and hurt mine, but it's something I've always did. I, I guess I'm too kind-hearted. But, um, back to the list. The third thing I would do when I'm angry is eat food. I can't even say chocolate, just chocolate, because I do eat chocolate, but I overeat, mainly why I gained the weight back that I lost, but I'm, I'm back to losing, but um, yeah, I eat a lot, especially chocolate, I buy out, I don't like cook when I overeat, I buy out like McDonald's, Burger King, all that kind of stuff, like big Whoppers or big, like big food, <laughs> um, fourth thing I do when I'm angry is I, I do sometimes, depending on how angry I am, I throw a tantrum, but I don't throw a tantrum in front of people. I go in my room or if I'm out and about, I go somewhere quiet and I just scream in my head or I just heavily breathe and pant, but I, I can't, I don't do that one much because if I get too stressed out, I will have a, a panic attack, which leads into an asthma attack, which is weird. I never understood that, but it does, and I end up in a hospital. So I try to keep myself calm because I find it more easy for me to catch a panic attack slash asthma attack for just, you know, overthinking or being angry. Okay, number five, the fifth thing I do when I'm angry is... I can't, I get on Facebook, <laughs> I get on Facebook and I get on Twitter, you know, if the person that I'm angry with is on Facebook, I will rant my ass off on Twitter, because a lot of my people on Facebook don't have Twitter, and the people that do have Twitter that's on my Facebook, don't, we're not close like that, we don't, you know, communicate like that, which is weird, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I will rant on Twitter, and if somebody on Twitter, or that I know on Twitter makes me upset, I rant on Facebook. Sometimes I rant on both, because I want you to know that I'm angry. <laughs> Which I know I am not the only one. I know it's petty, but I, I just always done that, and I know it's petty, but hey, I'm keeping it running. <laughs> the sixth thing that I do when I am angry is, is most of the time, not most, I could say probably a good 10% of the time, because like I said, I just grrr it out, but sometimes I do let you know, I do let you know, listen, like I'll be calm about it, I don't yell, I said, listen, you getting on my last nerve, and I'm going to need you to stop, back the hell up off me before you get my tongue, and I'm not talking sexually, I'm not a fighter, but if you hit me, I will hit you back. Um, number seven, what I do when I am angry is I will make myself busy so I don't think about it. I'll either do my nails or I'll do my hair or break my scalp or something I've already got my hair done. I'll play in my makeup. I'll, yes, I, <laughs> I shouldn't even admit this, but I do. I still play dress up. Like, I'll dress my whole self up, put on makeup to go with the outfit, shoes, and work it in front of the camera and give life. When I say give life, I mean give life 
to Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> but the eighth thing that I do when I'm angry is sometimes I will talk it out with somebody else to see if I was wrong in the situation or to see if that person was wrong in the situation. Ah, situation and you know, without disclosing the full, like if it's something personal, without disclosing the full information. But I will get a perspective of who is right and wrong, and then I'll be like, okay, well, since you saying I was wrong, I might have been wrong. Even though in my mind I know I was right, you know, it's all right. <laughs> um, I think I'm on number nine. Okay, number nine, the nice thing that I do when I'm angry is I will give you a full attitude, and I, I don't know, I don't consider that, I don't consider that a part of the, um, the tantrum, because like I said, I, I, get, I do the tantrum to myself, or I scream at a pillow, but, um, I will give you attitude, like anything, if I am talking to you, and, and I'm angry with you, I will give you attitude, if I'm not ignoring you. Like, say for instance, if, I'm angry with this person, say my sister, and she asks me a question or asks for a favor for me, like to get a remote or something, or you know, put her clothes in the dryer or something. I'd be like, bitch, you got legs. <laughs> like, I would give you complete attitude. And some people kill me when they say, I didn't know I, what I did to make you mad. You know exactly what you did to make me mad, because people know how to press my buttons and know how to press each other's buttons, period. And people know this, and they do it still, and want to act dumb. Don't do it. Okay, the tenth and final reason to know when I am angry, or what I do when I'm angry. I will watch movies, like basically anything that calm, well oh, I think I already said that, calm me down. Even if I did, didn't say it, I'm gonna say something different. But that is one, I don't know if I already said it, so I'm just going to keep it in and just kind of add a 10A. <laughs> um, I do hold it in, but I talk to myself. Don't, don't, don't think I'm crazy. But I talk it out with myself. Because sometimes in that moment, I'm heated. And then I'm like, I talk to myself, I said, listen, I said this, they said that, this is how I feel, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, okay, well, maybe I was a little bit wrong for saying it like I said. And then I go apologize if I was wrong. But if you were wrong, it's going to hurt me. It hurts me. And i got to get out of doing that. i got to get out of doing that. Because I let little petty stuff hurt me to the T. And I don't understand. And it's worse when I'm on my menstrual. <laughs> I know they say girls are bitches on their menstrual, but it's just rich. We just got more home. I can't never say this word right. Hormones. We got more hormones flowing in our body, so it's like we're very sensitive. Like you can be like, oh, you got the shoe on the wrong foot. Excuse me. You trying to say I ain't got the right shoe on the right foot? You know, we're, we're just very sensitive over petty stuff. But trust me, it will be over. But basically, okay, this is how I'm going to explain periods. I know this is not the topic, but this is how, for you guys out there, there are guys that's out there. This is how periods work. When girl, it's like when you're drunk. You know how they say when you're drunk, you tell the, um, a sober, I mean, I can't say the thing right. When you're drunk, you say what you want to say sober. I can't say the same way, but that's basically what it is. What it is with period. When you're on your period, you say what you want to say while you're not on your period. Like, you get more bold. Like, say, hmm, I don't want to say nothing too negative. Like, hmm, I don't know. So I'm just going to leave it alone. But that's basically how I'm going to compare it. Like, when you're drunk and you say something and you're like, <gasps> So that's what you really want to say sober, but you couldn't. So you had to get intoxicated to say it. That's how a period is. Basically. 
when it's coming to hormone wise. <laughs> when we say something and lash at you, that's that's what it is. <laughs> this is the stuff we want to say to you when we're not on our periods, but we don't have the guts to. But when your gut is being hurt and feel like somebody is ripping it out of your uterus, you get good. <laughs> anyway, okay, so those are the top 10 things I do when I am angry. So guys out there, if you want to date Ty Ty Jenkins, you better not get me angry. <laughs> I get hope move. No, I'm just kidding. But um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you fully enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, which is over, I think, on this side now because they moved it. So don't forget that. And if you want to see more of this beautiful face, go ahead and subscribe down below. And all my links are in the description box below. So make sure you go love on me, hug on me, do whatever you want to do with me. And I will see you beautiful scrumptious people next Wednesday. Bye!